Hello everyone, I'm Jeremy Schraffenberger. I teach creative writing literature classes here at the University of Northern Iowa. I say here, although I'm in my house right now and we're currently enjoying spring break, but we're all preparing to start teaching online pretty soon. And um, I guess I wanted to share um, a poem with you that was just sent to me in the mail from a friend who um, has been frequently published in the magazine that I help edit, the North American Review. Her name is Wyatt Townley. I wanted to share this poem just because it seemed to speak to the need when we're home now, still enjoying a little bit of spring break, um, preparing for um, the weeks ahead when we're not going to be connecting with other people in person as much. We'll be connecting via screen, um, but we'll also be connecting through books. And so this poem is called The Library. Uh, and I'll just mention that it's uh, a villanelle. I won't go into what the villanelle form entails, but you'll hear the repeated lines that, that define the villanelle and, and the rhyme scheme as well. And I'll try to put the, the words on the screen if I can figure out how to do that. So you can actually see uh, the repeated lines too. The Library by Wyatt Townley. A house of secrets rises in midair, where mysteries and questions interlace. Somewhere a nook, somewhere an empty chair. In summer when you're seeking cooler air, or winter, warmth, or just a friendly face, a house of secrets rises in midair. You never have to knock. Come home to where your story takes a deeper turn toward grace. Somewhere a nook, somewhere an empty chair. A certain book awaits your downward stare. Its pathless path leads to a placeless place. Its house of secrets houses you mid-air. A home within a book is anywhere you are and carries you through time and space, far from this nook, far from your comfy chair. When countries have forgotten how to care and cruelties contagious, commonplace, a house of secrets rises in midair. Somewhere a book, somewhere an empty chair. So I hope you'll find your own nook. I hope you'll find your own book in your empty chair. You can enjoy it while we are staying home. We'll see you soon.